So the left and right oracle are the flaps on the outside. Pop them open. We've got the right and left atria. Going right down, you get the left and right ventricles. And when you start looking at it as a whole, you get the anterior interventricular sulcus on the back side right here, posterior. Coronary sulcus wraps around crown-wise. You get no right. There's a hole. There it is. Alright, the vessels. We've got the superior vena cava right here. <clears throat> Inferior coming down, pulmonary trunk right up here. You have the left and right pulmonary veins. The arteries. 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 The blue arteries. ones are the arteries, the exception to the rule. Yeah, and then these, are the, and these are the veins on this side. Well, yes. there you go. Right here. And here, the ascending <laughs> aorta right here, the aortic arch. Right up here, and then descending, coming down this side. As soon as it passes the diaphragm, that becomes the abdominal aorta. Abdominal aorta. That is correct. <laughs> Pectinate muscles are actually on the inside, right here, as well as on the inside right there. It's called pectinate muscles up above and papillary muscles, no, trabeculae on the bottom. Ta da! Papillary muscles are the conjoining part of the tri tricuspid valve. It's the uh, papillary muscles down here, chordate tendine above, right where it attaches from the. It's fucking loud. <laughs> right atrium to the ventricle. <coughs> papillary on bottom, chordate tendon on top. The interventricular septum, right here in the middle. Right by. Tricuspid valve, right here. Bic no, tricuspid, going down. Okay. Bicuspid, right over here. Okay. And the pulmonary semilunar valve, open there. And then the aortic semilunar valve, all the way in the back. Little round thing. Okay. And that is my heart. Gotta do that.